positioning windows will be done in a similar fashion. Uh, but before we actually talk about that, here's a side note, something that, uh, that is very neat and, uh, and interesting to use in our software. If you want to show your clients how your drawing looks like at this point, there's a very clever way of showing how the doors would function. And this would actually reveal collisions as well. So if you select the 3D and click on any of the doors you have, there's this special little tab over here. If you click on it, there's going to be a door animation shown. So this way you can test your doors and you can even make interactive walkthroughs to show your clients how the doors would be opening. So let's move to the topic of uh, windows. Now, they are going to be placed in a similar fashion with two points on this drawing, but there's going to be one special thing about that, and that is the seal height, which we also have to uh, predefine. So again, we go to properties, opening windows, and I need to find the proper window type for this, uh, for this uh, building project, which would be a fixed window, and I have the name right here, so you can just type it in and look for that. It's called uh, divided frame should be 1x equal. There we go. Let's hit OK. Now, again, with height, uh, with the width, I don't want to do anything. With height is OK as it is. Thickness needs to be decreased to 110 millimeters, and the distance from wall line, uh, that's OK like that, but the seal height should be zeroed out. So once I have, uh, once I have these, uh, these elements set up, the only thing I have left, actually two things, is the materials for the, for the body and for the seals. So what I do, I go to the solid material, click on it, and I already have the wood pile that was set up in my in-model library. So let's just hit OK. Now I see that the model just updated. And I have uh, interior and exterior seals, which if I click on this tab, I have access to. So you can set up how the seals look like, but the on only important thing here is, is that you can change that setting to be reflecting that same wood pile though, uh, material. So once I hit OK, it's time to retrace the drawing and add the windows over there. So what I do, I go to window, Similarly to doors, I have a window by 2.2 over here, and I can just click on the drawing, like, like that, click, click, and now the window appears in my drawing. Let's proceed with the other windows. So again, click, click, and the window just appears like that. So there's a couple of more windows over here, so let's just, uh, let's just trace all of them. Um, let's just hit click, click, here's the next one. And there's a third one over here. There we go. So now there's a couple, a couple here more. So let's just do like that. There's going to be a special case over here. There's going to be a corner window. So that's going to be another challenge for us to tackle. But we can do that. No worries. So click, click. So now I think uh, I think I'm done with all my windows. Let's just put the 3D into zoom. And the next logical step would be to actually link up these two windows because I don't like the way they are separated. I want to have a nice, neat corner window like the one you see in the in the uh, 2D. So how do I do that? There's actually there's actually one uh, very neat tool for that. It's called uh, corner window. So it's going to be a window on wall corner and join two openings on the wall corner. Now, here's, um, here's an interesting thing. I have already defined the width of this window. So what happens if I join them together? Are they going to be moved? Are they going to be resized? Let's see. So let's click on joining up two openings and click on one window and click on the next one and they are linked up. Now, this is neat. The two windows preserved their width and they were snapped together, but that also meant that they were moved away. So how do I compensate for that? I click on the window and I have the nodes right here to actually change the size of the window. So I do right that and now the window is going to be moved back to its original, uh, not back to its original position, but I'm going to now compensating for the changes that I've done. So this way you can uh, fine tune your corner window. There's one thing missing actually, and that is the mullion between the two. So what I need to do, I need to find the window to which this mullion belongs to. And I hit the pencil icon and I'm going to go to built-in details and here I can change the mullion material to wood pile as well. Let's hit OK. And now my model has all the doors and windows it needs.